weekend all. I Rapstein with your market wrap up and this is the weekly wrap up for your metals reports for this Friday and we are now on the 25th of March 2022. Rough day for us here in our, my offices. Uh, we did major computer upgrades. We started at 7.30. What if I tell you we stopped at 5.30 and I think we took 20 minutes out for lunch but we're done. So we don't have to go through that again. And you know, you don't do these that often, but a big day for it. So in the metal markets, you finished off down in the gold today, down in the silver, down in the copper, and look at platinum. All of them down. You can't say it's the dollar. You were basically unchanged. Was it just profit taking? Might be. Has anything changed on the inflation scenario? I don't think so. Energy prices took off again, big ranges. I mean, you look at these ranges, they're just absolutely monstrous, five, six dollars. Remember on a full size contract, each, each point's what, a thousand dollars. It's quite a bit of money. And the market is just swinging like there's no tomorrow. Notes and bonds keep falling, which means interest rates going up. When we look at a monthly bar chart, you finished at 1954.20. You're just slightly over the upper Bollinger Band, the month's not over, you're up 2.8%. You can't call that stellar gains. Up at the top, it looked nice, but it hasn't been able to hold on to that. When I come on a weekly close only chart, we were up 1.29% for the week, and we've been going up very nicely on that chart. And let's go to look at that on a weekly basis. So here's your weekly chart. You've pulled back. You had been as high as 2078.80. You pulled back as low as 1895.20. Just a week after that, now you're getting a bit of a bounce. Where the market gets into trouble, in my opinion, is if you take out 1895.20. Now, admittedly, that's $55 away. So actually more than that, it's about uh, 50, what is that? $59 away. That's far away. But if it's taken out, it's a problem because you probably are going to head back into the support of the 18 and the 100 day average. If you don't take it out, then I can make an argument 1983.40, the upper Bollinger Band, and that should be moving up just a tad when the market reopens Sunday night. But that's what I would think is the resistance. What is the market really doing? I mean, step back and look at it. You had a number of times where you were closing over the upper band. You pulled back. I'm looking for a challenge of it again on the upside, unless this market just has no legs to the upside right now. I think it does. Momentum had gotten itself pointing down. Now it's got to flatten out here. So I'm looking to see if that can happen. The gold-silver ratio, you're coming down. And as you're coming down, that means that the silver is getting stronger than gold. And that's pretty evident here. You have higher lows, higher highs, and uptrend. Again, fighting at the upper Bollinger Band. You only stay over the Bollinger Band top or bottom 5% of the time as a whole. That's important. So that's an important resistance zone. I'm going to give you the story again. Should the market decide to break through and drop down through 2460 on a weekly chart, then you, the next numbers of support are 2408 to 2360. That would look pretty ugly. So I'm thinking the market wants to just hold this and try to move up. In the copper, I am not surprised you're getting a little bit of a sell-off. You've again challenged these upper bands, you came down, and look at what you did this pre prior week. You went right down, got as low as 446. This is where the pros probably bought the market with the stop under that low, and they're looking for the upper Bollinger Band. They got pretty darn close to it, I think you'd agree. So I can see a little bit of profit taking in that. Momentum, trying to drift on them to the downside, but to break the back of the copper market, you've got to get under 446, and that's over 20 cents away. The platinum is not getting, nor is the palladium market, a lot of bid off of anything with Russia threatening to uh, stop exports of these important material uh, markets. They're just not doing it. And you have no trend. You've got a higher high, lower low that is fighting for support at the 100 day, 100 week, I'm sorry, and the 18 week moving average of closes. The dollar is still strong. Momentum is pointing up. The bias is up. You had gotten over the upper Bollinger Band and it normally pulls back under it and it stays under it 95% of the time. 
So as I'm looking at this chart, I'm not seeing a problem with it in many ways at all in the dollar. But we look. We have to keep our eye on it. Overall, the questions that you always worry about, higher interest rates going to be good or bad for the dollar, too. If they get too high, some people think it hurts the U.S. economy. So far, we've shook that off because the stock market is still strong. You know, on Saturdays, I take everything I'm doing and I convert it to weekly charts each Saturday morning. And I cover 40 different charts in here, working with you and them, showing you what's going on. And by the way, when I do it, there's a scroll bar if you're on our website looking at this and your member login if you get this uh, video. And what takes place is you can jump from section to section. The charts will look like this. They're going to have a lot more lines than you see in these. And I teach you how to work with them and what's going on. How do you get all this? It's so simple. All you need to do is, number one, you can click on the link right here. It'll take you right to the area you have to go. Or you can go to our website under the word research. Regardless, thanks for watching me. I will see you all come Monday. Have a great weekend.